What's up, y'all? Ash here, back and get with another video. So, I'm here to talk to you today about the narcissist and rejection. Now, before we get into this, I need to tell y'all first of all, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely subscribe before you leave, okay? Thank you. Now, let's talk about rejection. Rejection from the narcissist is very tough because. In the beginning stages of dealing with a narcissist, the love bombing stage, it feels like you're on top of the world. Oh my God, he took me shopping. Oh my God, she says she gonna do this for me as a wife. She gonna love me this way. The loving, if you know what I'm talking about, is good. We talk all day on the phone. She's uh, She cooks for me. She cleans for me. Oh, she does this and th it's amazing. That love bombing stage is amazing. It's the best high you could ever feel. But also that rejection is also the the most terrible lows you can ever feel. You may not know the first signs or the sign of rejection from a narc because it's not easily just simply going to be, yeah, I'm rejecting you or I don't want you no more because they're not going to tell you that because why the narcissist needs multiple supply to be able to continue to be them and to survive and thrive, right? So they're not gonna let you go. They're not gonna just reject you, be like, yeah, I'm on to the next one. No, 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 no. You gonna stay in that back pocket. So how the narcissist rejects you is they'll draw back. They'll ghost you. Now, when I say they'll ghost you, sometimes it does mean physically they'll just stop hitting you up, they'll stop talking to you, they'll just disappear. But it can also mean that they just disappear emotionally. They stop putting in effort. You can still be around, they'll still talk to you here or there, or whatever, but you won't be a priority. You'll just be, oh, that's my Tuesday piece. Or, oh, you know, you know, that's my little weekend thing or whatever. They'll still keep you around because they need you around. You're a supply, but you'll never be an actual priority. But they will definitely ghost you. They will reject you because like they'll, like I said, they'll stop giving you the emotional. They'll stop sometimes even giving you the physical. They'll stop giving you the reassurance. All of this is a part of the rejection stage because whether it's something that you have may not have done, maybe you have done something that made them go, mm, I don't know about that, you step away or maybe they started to have feelings for you that they didn't expect to or maybe you know they just simply was feeling guilty because they were doing shit that they weren't supposed to be doing and they couldn't look you in the face or it's a lot of reasons why they might start projecting and there's a lot of reasons why they would simply just reject you and ghost you but I'm here to tell you don't let that stop you don't let that put you in a frenzy to where it's like oh my god like is it me it has to be me i'm so depressed and i'm sad I, now it's easier said than done trust me i listen everything that i'm saying to y'all in my videos is not from me just saying it because for the fuck of it no i'm saying it because it's from experience so i know what it feels like for the rejection i know what it feels like for the ghosting i know what it feels like for all of that and i know what it feels like after You've gone through the rejection and you've gone through the ghosting that it puts you in this confused mindset. It puts you in the depression. It puts you into, I know, I know what it feels like. So I'm not saying this out of judgment. I'm saying this out of pure love for you and informational reasons and just to open your eyes to what's going on. Okay. So don't let it, don't let it break you down. Don't let it get you depressed. Most likely. 99% of the time is not you it is them because it's a them thing they're very selfish they're very controlling they're very manipulative and they're going to project everything that they're doing onto you so I'm here to tell you don't let them get you down don't let it get you down at all do the best that you can to get up out of that no matter what it is it could be work it can be relationship it can be friendship it can be co-workers it, could, it don't matter who it is don't let these people do that to you okay get up chest out head high and you will be good because you were fine before them right you were fine before them you will be fine after so get up go on about your business worry about you your kids your pets your family whoever you gotta worry about yourself by yourself you ain't got none of that worry about you and 
all the energy that you're putting into them trying to figure out why did you reject me why did you why did you reject me why did you ghost me why are you acting like this now why is it if, if somebody is showing you those things and those aspects you don't need to be asking why 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 just accept it for what it is go with the flow if that's how they acting cool bye <laughs> and that's all it is that's all she wrote so with that being said y'all i appreciate y'all for watching this video okay take my advice trust me it works okay thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one make sure you like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye